In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a sink or a wash basin like this in Blender. To keep the tutorial short and relevant, we have divided it into two parts. In the first part, we will design this model, a wash basin, along with all its parts. And in the second part, we will add the flow objects and create the actual fluid simulation. The prerequisite for this tutorial is, you should already know the basic concepts of a fluid simulation. If not, we have created several tutorials on the basics of fluid simulation, you can find the links in the video description below. So, let us start with a blank new file, for our first part. We will design a sink, step by step, starting with this default cube. We need to first change its size, so go to the object properties, and increase the Y scale factor, to 1.5. Then go to the Modifiers tab and add one, Subdivision Surface Modifier. We have to use the Catmull Clark option, it will result into some deformation like this. Please increase these levels to 5, in both the places, and then apply this modifier. Then add one simple deform modifier. Switch over to the Taper option. In the Factor value, enter minus 0.5. Please ensure the x-axis is selected. It will modify the shape of our cube, like this. Let us apply the modifier. This object will basically form the inner part of the sink, we have to actually cut it out, from a bigger box like this. For this outer part, go to the Add menu, and add one cube. We need to change its width. So in the Object Properties, change the Y scale factor to 1.5. And change the Z scale factor to 0.5. And we need to also move it up a little bit, so that it rests right on the floor. So change the Z location to 0.5. This is actually the basin part of our sink. So, let us rename it to basin. Then select the default cube, which will form the inner side of the basin. We need to move it up slightly, so that it overlaps with the outer part. We can rather set its Z location directly as 1. And along with this, we have to also ensure that there is sufficient space left on this side of the sink, because we will later add the water tap right here. We need to change this width of the outer cube for a better placement. So select the outer cube, and change its X scale factor to 1.05. We will now move the inner part toward this way. So select the inner part, and move it slightly toward the right. If you want a perfect placement, just change its X location to 0.1. So, everything is now ready. Next, we will cut out the intersection from this outer cube. Let us make it smooth. So go to the object menu, and apply the shade smooth option. Now select the basin, and go to the modifiers tab. Add one, boolean modifier. Ensure that we are on the difference tab. Then in the object field, select the default cube. If you now hide the cube, you will see that a nice cut is made to our basin. Let us just apply this modifier. We can also add some bevel to this, for a better look. So in the modifiers tab, add a bevel modifier. Change the amount to, 0 0.05. And change the number of segments to 10. Then apply the modifier. Now, we have created a good looking basin, for our sink. We will now add suitable materials to it. So, let us first turn on the rendered view mode. You can also disable the world scene, so that the HDRI background light is used. To add the materials, go to the edit mode. You will see that by default the inner section of the basin is selected. We will apply a white material for this inner part and a black material for the outer part. While the inner part is selected, turn on the face selection mode. So all the faces will be selected here. Now go to the materials tab and create a new material. A new entry will be added into this list. We need to change this color to complete white, so increase this value to 1. And then, we will apply this for the selected part. So just click on this assign button. Now add another entry in this list. This second material will be applied to the outer part. So, create a new material. This will be the second item in this list. For this material, we have to just change its color to complete black. And now, this second material has to be applied to the outer part. So go to the select menu, and select invert. As a result, the outer part has got selected. While the black material is selected in this list, click on this assign button, in order to assign the black material for this outer part. 
This is exactly what we wanted, a nice combo material for our basin setup. Let us go back to the object mode. We will now cut a sinkhole right here into the basin. So, go to the add menu and add one cylinder. Let us go back to the solid view mode. We have to make it smaller since we need a small sinkhole, so in the object properties, change both the X and the Y scale factors to 0.15. Now, we have to also ensure that it is rightly placed. We want to push it little toward the back, just to make it similar to a real sink. To make it perfect, let us use a value of minus 2 in its X location. Cool. We will now cut it from the basin. So select the basin. Go to the modifiers tab and add a boolean modifier. We have to use the difference option and in the object field, select the cylinder. Now if you hide the cylinder, you can see a nice hole made through our basin. Looks good. So let us apply the modifier. But we don't just need a hole, we would like to also cover it with a plug that we find in a sink. And for that, we will reuse this cylinder, so let us unhide it. But we have to change its dimensions. So, select the cylinder, and in the object properties, reduce its z-scale factor to 0 0.01. We need to also move it up a little bit. This is a plug that will allow the water to get out, so it should sit slightly above the sink hole. Let us fine-tune the z-location as 0.18. And also, the plug should be little bigger than the sink hole. So, we can change these two scale factors to 0.18. Fine. We can probably move the plug slightly toward this side. So let us change its X location to minus 0.18. Now it is in the right position. But we have to punch some holes through it as well. So first, go to the modifiers tab and add one subdivision surface modifier. We have to use this Catmull Clark option. Reduce both the levels to just one and apply the modifier. If you now turn on the wireframe view mode, you can see that we got a design like this. We will use this design and convert it into a wireframe instead of punching any actual hole through the plug. So here, add a modifier called the wireframe modifier. In this, the thickness value determines the size of the holes or the openings. So let us change this thickness to 0 0.05. If you deselect the object, you will see how beautiful it now looks. So let us apply this modifier. We are done with the sink plug, but we have to also add a suitable material for this. So turn on the rendered view mode. Then go to the materials tab and create a new material. Let us change its base color to something in the gray, not very dark, maybe just like this. And please increase the metallic value to 1. Finally, the sink is complete with the basin and the sinkhole. Now in the second part, we will add the water tap and the flow objects to create the actual water flow. Please check the second part of this series where the real action happens. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.